Hey everybody and welcome back. My name is Suki and this is Oxygen Not Included. Why are we at the main menu? Okay, um, I just want to let you guys know that I installed four mods. These mods does not, do not add any content to the game or unbalances anything. As you can see, it's just some quality of life nonsense. That's, that's literally all it is. Basically, the bigger camera zoom out just allows you to zoom out further so you can see more of your base. The pliers allows you to disconnect. Like, if a pipe comes here and it goes down here, and you want to disconnect this, right now you have to deconstruct one of those segments. With the pliers, you can just select them and they will d disconnect so that they're not connected. Sweep by type just adds a filter in the corner if I select the sweeping tool and I only want to sweep up Oh, sorry, a specific type of object like igneous rock or iron or whatever. Then this allows me to filter that. And then finally, drag tool area. When I'm dragging out a room, this just shows me in the middle the area size that I'm dragging. That's literally it. Nothing overtly disastrous or scandalous or what have you. Okay, and we are back. Okay, so as you can see, yay, big zoom. Um, then when I'm dragging like a dig area, it just shows you in the middle. Do you see that six by eight is 48? That does that. The plier tool is down here. And it like, if I drag it over these two, they'll still be here and here, but the connection between them will just be broken. Um, and what else was it? Oh yeah, the filter. So if I select uh, sweep. I can select what I want to sweep. That's it. So nothing crazy. Um, so we started the refinement process. Let's have a look at our... Mm, where would it be? Is it... No, it's not in that sort of metal or refined metal. So we have a thousand iron right now where we have like 24.3 ton of iron ore. We'll be busy for a while, but that's 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 kind of good simply because the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to ask them, oops, I'm going to ask them to break down this battery. And the reason for that is fairly simple. I'm going to put in a smart battery. How's our oxygen generation? It looks okay, though it's starting to kind of creep up here at the bottom. Temperature over here isn't too hot. The heat is seeping in over here a little bit. It's okay, as long as we keep our farm areas relatively clean. Okay, so this battery is gone. So in its place, we're going to install a smart battery. A smart battery will allow us to basically automate this process so we don't have to worry about wasting potential. Good job, everyone. Oh, and the day is done, of course. So, where are we going to put our freaking docking stations? Where is our official exit going to be? Right now, surprisingly, there's like a ton of freaking oxygen in this area. And I, I don't really know why. Is it because I left this thing on so long? I don't think so. It's kind of funny how all the chlorine is accumulating here. Where I kind of want it to be accumulating somewhere else. If we could get like all oxygen up here, I'd be very happy. Temperatures are still kind of crazy up here. Do, 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 do. All right. I also learned my lesson with these things. Oh, 
Let's see if we can make it. Almost there, and then you're going to freak out and run away. So let's get automation. So we can get automation wire across these guys. And, oh, no, it actually can run through stuff. Up to the smart battery. Why again the rancher? Didn't I update our settings somewhere so that the refined the refined metal can now s be placed here? Yeah, I did. I'd like to expand on our ma or on our farm area in a bit, one thing at a time. How's our algae look? Okay, so with this being done, I'm basically going to say that once the battery reaches 5%, start charging, and once it reaches 100%, stop charging. I'm going to make this 95 just for... So we have a little bit of overhead. This is going to organically turn the generators on and off as the battery levels rise and fall. Granted, this only stores 20 megawatts or kilojoules versus the 40 of these. So these batteries will only ever get to half while this one is full, but that doesn't matter. It literally doesn't matter. I want you to see. And doop, there it kills them. Elegant, huh? And now as it's being drained... ...by the heavy machinery... ...it'll immediately turn on again. Oh, hey, we have a somebody. Meh. And meh. Don't need any of you right now. Come on. Almost there. Almost. And there you go. You see? Elegant. All these guys now need to do is they have to just refill these, make sure that they're full. Fill request. Well, as soon as you're at 50, request fill. Actually, just when it's like at 90. These should always be filled with fuel. <laughs> Ideally. I don't even think this works anymore. It, I think it's just kind of controlled by the battery now. But okay, so then we can do other interesting things like... Uh, hey, let's put a dupe sensor. Over here. Where do they stand? Can I switch... Uh, I can switch upside down. Like so. But I don't think there's enough space up here for a light. Yeah, no. Unfortunate. Because having a light here means that the dupes work faster. I'd like to put one over here, actually. Let's do that. Um, I'm going to set a power. I'm going to have a... E no. Lights or furniture. A light up here can be here. We're gonna just have it like show shine a decent little space away. Then automation have a duplicate sensor here. Automation wire up to it. Then have power running to the light. Mm, from where? Hmm. That's silly. Do you think they'll be able to get there? Nah, let's let's do it the other way. Ah.
Yes. Work. How far is our water being pumped? Still going, huh? Jeez. Come on, just the light. There's a lot of freaking coal down here. I guess we don't have storage? No, we do. Invalid building location. Really? I've been able to put them there in the past just fine. I guess that'll work just as well. So now we can break down the power wires, I guess. What achievements did we earn? Red light, green light, yes, and then turn of the century. I like me some soda. Okay. <clears throat> Good. Now whenever he walks there, there's going to be a light. And this just means that they are now illuminated. Um, supposedly, they should have a buff. Food poisoning antibodies. Oh. Hmm. They're supposed. It's supposed to say here that like they're illuminated. They do count as being in the light, right? Do they have to be within a certain range of the light? Oh. Interesting. Maybe they have to be with it in a certain range of the duplicate over it building. Uh, when the building is lit, yes. Hmm, I'll actually have to look this up. I'm not a hundred percent sure. Hmm. It, it still looks cool. Okay, um where were we? <clears throat> we don't have a... Okay, that's okay. So, we have plenty of iron. How many pieces of iron do one of these docks take? A hundred. We can build plenty of them. The Exosuit Forge takes 400. I can build you, like... Dude, wherever. How much power do you need? 480. That's a lot. It's not a lot at all. But I do believe that this circuit is quite, yes, at its limit already. Mm. And I really don't want to pull like an entire new freaking wire down there. Just for the sake of having it operate. Ah, oh, phooey. Um, the Exosuit Forge can get hot. But it's also literally only used when we create new suits. So play. Play to that, I say. Play. We are going to have to get a ton more. Oh, well, also granted we could. This water is quote unquote infinite. And I'm saying quote unquote because... Uh, this thing hasn't spewed for a while. But we could effectively take the liquid from this pump that's currently running over here <coughs> and we could pump that into a oxygen electrolyzer. Which I haven't researched yet. There you go. Electrolyzer. It's 
Let's get that researched while we're at it. You go, Legion. You see, like, this is going to be very useful. To have a light, light on in here. Because that will in speed, uh, in speed, increase his research speed. <coughs> I might have to remove the flower pot though. Otherwise, maybe I can. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see how it works. Let's see. Deconstruct this. Okay. If we place the duplicate sensor up here, oops. Will it be able to sense him on both sides? I think so. It looks like it. Because then we can just place... Oh. I tried to rotate the light so it shines in a different direction. Oh, well, silly. That's not gonna work. How does your AOE look? Like, this is okay. I was trying to not get rid of this, of this plant here in the middle. Seems like I'm gonna have to now. That's sad. But whatever. Okay. Um the light should replace that. It should it should make up for the the prettiness that we lose. <coughs> Good thing the automation doesn't need electricity. Okay, so now he should have lit workspace. Better visibility from the increases the work speed by 15%. Okay, so what did we earn this time? <coughs> Nothing else? Yay, electrolyzer and rust deoxidizer. So let's also get while we're at it the freaking Do I already? Yes, I do already have a hydrogen generator. Because we're going to be producing some hydrogen. Not an awful lot. But basically, I'm checking some other stuff. I, I'd like to get this as well, but we need a, a a specific skill on a duplicate to take care of that. We might as well get a pharmacology as well. At some point. And hey, we've researched quite a bunch of stuff. I'm looking forward to how this freaking stuff works. Jet suits. Oh, I'm gonna have to research this thing. Thermo Aqua Tuner. That's gonna be very useful. in uh, regulating the heat of our base. It's a bit in the future though, but we will be getting to it. Petroleum generator, oil refinery, we need that. So let's, let's just start looking at that. I still want to see what this is. When we have our suits, absolutely. Where am I going to put the forge? How's the temperature down here? Oh, crazy. And that's just leaking straight in, huh? They're so freaking cute. Oh, yeah, I wanted to... No, and no. Let's get food, right? Yes. Let's get, like, a few incubators. How many? 200. Let's get, like, four of them. I'm not going to power them. <coughs> Essentially, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have 
what happens is um, they're going to take the eggs up here and put them in the incubate incubator. And then if at any point any of these guys should die, um, they'll come and fetch them and out to wrangle them to put them in here. And then every all the other extra eggs that we have, I'm going to just crack. So also food, uh, I'm going to put the egg cracker down. Super useful stuff all around. <clears throat> and I might just make my kitchen like right here while we're at it. I do have fridges. Yes. So the key to. But, Tuki, why will they take the eggs to the incubators and not to. The air crackers. Well, simple. I'm going to make the the incubators a much higher priority than the air cracker. Because I'm going to basically set, like, hatchling eggs and I'm going to set it to forever. But I'm going to make this just an ever so slightly lower priority than this one. So that they much rather prefer taking eggs here. And then if these are full, all the eggs that these guys produce on top of that will be taken to the cracker. Oh, uh, at least you're happy. I have to select, yeah, sage, hatchling, continuous, stone hatchling. Yeah, sure. At one point, we will eventually have, like, no normal hatchlings left. have any other eggs okay well these guys are still getting busy I guess six out of eight anyway hatch and hatchlings sage has sage hatchlings okay so then for have any yet when it gets to that point <laughs> so yeah eventually we'll either have only stone hatchlings or only sage hatchlings the chances of these guys giving birth to I'm not sure if it yeah sage hatchling egg or hatchling egg this should go up Oh, so these can still give birth to hatchlings, huh? These guys can give birth to stone hatchlings or sage hatchlings. Depending on what you feed them. So I'm thinking maybe we wanna... All the hatchling eggs you can find. Just crunch them. These guys should be making sage hatches. We'll see how the system works out. Oh, no. okay. How's the water? The water is still going, huh? Uh, doing okay. Um, okay. We need a room that is going to be filled with basically oxygen. Actually, I don't even think I need that. We're going to get... Wait, wait let's look. Uh, oil refinery, don't care. K, 
Okay. Um, plumbing, no. What am I looking for there? Oh, clearly looking for electrolyzer. So, for the electrolyzer... Where can I put you? I don't even need to dig that far. Stop complaining! Oh god damn it. He's so freaking cute. Need to finish up these rooms as well. At some point. I don't want to put in more freaking outhouses. Somebody said something about... Oh yeah, that's true. I guess we can only go in this way, not out anymore. If they get into this back area, they need to be able to wash their hands if they leave. I don't want them to use the bathroom and then go out here. Plunge faster! Where am I going? Oh, alright. Time to put away the trash. Hey, Tresco, don't worry, we'll get you to work in a sec. Uh, I'm going to want to have this room also insulated. Oh, now we cut that room off, huh? Uh, how do I usually do that? Ideally from the other side, so two and then yeah, something like this. I can put a, like another freaking tin. I don't like that there's like food poisoning on our food. How'd that happen? Oh! Egg was cracked. So food, we need an electric grill and something to make it look pretty, I guess. Just put these freaking everywhere. It's ugly as sin down here. But the prettier it is all over the freaking place, the more they they will enjoy their... Uh, the av daily average of appearances. Oh, hello. 
What do we get? Blossom seeds. Meh. Don't need any more dupes right now. Oh, right. So, yeah, at this point, we might as well just lay on some extra power. And then one down there. I can still reach there, yes. Over here. Okay, that's it for now. Little uh, wire bridge. Oh, come on. Don't worry, we'll take care of the food in a second. This is taking a hot minute. Getting at all that algae. There's some more here. Yeah, algae isn't a problem. There's going to be tons and tons of algae. Especially in this biome. There's more, there's more. As soon as we get our suits, we can explore the area surrounding our base a lot more. Hey, did. You, uh, Patriska? Yes, get better cooking. He's never cooked a day in his life, but, you know, he's better at it. Mechatronics engineering. That's what we need to be able to create the conveyor rails and stuff. So you get a mechatronics hat. <coughs> Excuse me. You'll eventually get exosuit as well. Hmm, that's a little early. Let's wait on that. As soon as they have latrines, this will go better. Uh, okay, so only I have XSU training so far. That's okay. Come on, you Muppets. Yes, the mecha mechatronics engineer is busy shoveling shit. Eventually, this entire base is going to be flush with oxygen. Once we get a proper water source set up. I might as well just pump this back here. Or you can pump this like through our cooling system that I don't have yet. Really is sucking it up, huh? This thing hasn't done much for a while. Like the temperature has dropped so far. As long as that temperature stays outside the base, I don't care. Why is this so hot? Hmm. Interesting. If I get another Weez Ward, I'd like to... How many seeds? Weez, Weez Ward seeds do I have? Don't have another one. 
Well, as soon as we foray into the frozen area, which I already started planning, we will be able to do that. No, no worries. So what are we still waiting for here? Oh, now you have power. Good. Do this forever. We have lots of freaking eggs. And do this forever. This is useful because it takes 1,600 calories and turns it into 2,000 calories. And that's really it. Don't make this because it takes 1,800. Uses freaking water and then it's still 1,800. That's it. That's, the only, that, that, that's all it does. So for now, omelettes. And then, sure. You know what? Sure, whatever. We're going to have lots of very many foods. Priorities for Petresco. Your cooking is very high priority. Are you a digger? Yes, you are a digger. Jeez. Everybody can tidy a little bit. Okay. Let's see if Mr. Chef does his job. Hey, Mr. Chef, wh where are you going? Don't you have cooking errands to run? There he goes. Cooking some bristleberry. That's the good stuff right there. I don't know why the little dance has to be done. But yeah, with the quality of food of uh, that they are eating going up, they should have even more morale. And then once this freaking water is done pumping in seven years, we can have the latrine set up. And with that set up, their morale will go through the roof. And things are looking pretty swell. Do we want to crack all the sage hatchling eggs? I want to remove this and actually incubate the sage hatchling eggs. Don't do this. Yeah. Okay, so that does it for now, guys. I appreciate a like and a comment. I would appreciate it even more if you would tap that sub button. We got a decent amount done today, I, I feel. Pumped some water, got some incubators, got a grill set up. People are going to be getting better food. It's still not, you know, the top top freaking barbecue or frost bun well frost bun they'll be getting this is standard food barbecue is like good poor this is also poor this is also standard um the bristle berry will be doing not the bristle berry the sleet wheat that muffin uh frost bun will be making once we get access to the sleet wheat down here but yeah that's it for now guys i appreciate a like and a comment etc etc i already said that so i'll see you in the next one and bye bye for now